The Korea Summit is a gathering for our deadly Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander young people. It's a gathering which we normally host around 120 uh, plus young people and it's a space for them to come and share their culture, learn, be proud and most of all connect with each other. Uh, so this year we've come up with the theme of our identity, our resilience and our story. We will create the footsteps for those that come after us. Um, today and tomorrow it's about talking about that and creating those footsteps that are worth taking. I work for an Indigenous organisation and they supported me to come and bring some of our young community members as well with me. They thought it would be a really great opportunity to show them what youth leadership looks like in our community and to inspire them to start taking charge. I think there's been an incredible push for young people to come together to learn, to grow and to contribute to the community and seeing how much they want to make a difference, it really is heartwarming. It's hugely important to have that, that great positive network around you because you know, the more positivity we spread around the country, especially within our own mobs, you know, the more empowered we're going to be as a, as, a, as a people. I promise that every single day I open my eyes, I'm going to make a positive impact on somebody's life. Places like this, what I love the most is it does reinvigorate that passion and relights the flame, so to speak. So you hear about the change and you see the change. I just believe self-determination is something that um, we have to live those values and know them deeply rather than just talk about them. It's vital for young people to have their voices heard, especially Indigenous voices. We are so underrepresented, especially in mainstream media. We need to stand up and we need to be proud of who we are and we need to tell our stories and we need to get them out there. So I think the main thing for us crew youth is knowing that our culture is strong, we still have to stick by it, we have to continue the footsteps of our elders and our ancestors. Make sure that you stick strong and know who you are and know who you mob are, know your identity and be, be really proud of it. I've always known and I've always been proud of being Aboriginal because I want to know more about my family and you know, more about the culture. But I really think it all comes back to the willingness to stand up and challenge, but learning how to do that in a respectful way, not a reactive way. I want you to know that when I come here every year and listen to you all, that you actually give me strength. You give me the strength to continue and to find my voice. Aboriginal Affairs in Victoria is in very good hands with young people that I've observed the last couple of days. I just want to pass on what knowledge that I've got to the next, next uh, leaders in this country. It's just amazing. Uh, the people that you meet, the speakers that you listen to, just really, really help to empower us and our young black voices. We create the space for the young people and they make the magic happen. I think every year I've witnessed young people stand up and have their say at these events, um, and every year they go back to their communities um, with that overwhelming kind of feeling of positivity and balance, um, and it's just inspiring to watch. Sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. You can be that great generation. Let your greatness blossom.